Right lads, as of recording this, I'm going to be doing, is Newcastle United's team good enough for the Champions League next season? We'll go through the video, each player position, bottom to top, and I'll go through every position, every player, and then where I think we need to improve on. Loads of work getting done for the 2023-24 season. If you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it wouldn't mean that if you could do so. I'm going to be getting so many videos out, I'm so motivated for this season. Champions League football is back for the tune, and we've got to be smashing it this season, boys. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it now. So you'll see on screen now, this is probably Newcastle United's best team and then the players underneath are probably like the substitutes as you could see. This is what I think, if Eddie Howe made no signings for the rest of the um, summer, this would be our team going into Aston Villa for the first game of the Premier League season. So, starting off in goal, obviously the keeper situation at the minute, it looks like Carl Dorland will be out the door, Carrius has had extension so he will stay. It's unknown about Dubravka but he did play in that game versus um, Aston Villa. And I think Gillespie will, will stay, and then obviously Nick Pope is we're starting goalkeeper. I think the goalkeeper situation is is fairly fair. I think three is the is the max you need. Four, if if needed, like we've got. Obviously, I think five is a bit extreme. I think we do need to let someone out, and it looks like Dollar will be potentially maybe he's the brave guy, but we'll have to wait and see. Either way, I'm quite happy with having Cavius or the brave guy as my number two, and Nick Pope as my number one. Right back situation at the minute. At the minute, Kieran Trippier will start. Obviously, we have been linked with Livermento, but I can't see anything on that because it's been linked. We'll kind of sit here and go, we signed him because we haven't. Trippier is it right back, and I've put um, Manq. Obviously, we've still got Emil Croft, but I think Manq has obviously played in pre season and, and Croft's still recovering from that injury he got last year in um, that game versus Tramia. Centre backs, this is where I think we do need to make an addition. If you look at Fabian Shaw and Sven Botman, two brilliant players on the day, performed massively, massively last season and performed and connected really, really well. They work really well with each other. Botman likes to sit back and just be a bully. And, and Shaw likes to go little runs, which I absolutely love. If you look at the cover though, Jamal Lazelles, I think he's a brilliant player. Like Matt Ritchie, he's there to get the talk and done. And I think Eddie Howe summed it up brilliantly obviously Newcastle have got this little little group where there's, there's, there's five of them and they're all in there and it's like, a, like a, a, a captain group there's no like number one captain yes it will be Lascelles and he will carry on that as Eddie Howe has pretty much confirmed but they've got a little group I think it's Wilson um, Wilson Trippier Dan Byrne Lascelles I'm forgetting one more and I'm going to kick myself I, I, I kind of think I kind of think maybe Nick Pope I'm, I'm not sure I think it is all, Eng all all English lads but I think we do need to say another centre back especially if, imagine if Fabian Shaw gets injured and our only cover is Dan Byrne in Jamal Lascelles in the Champions League say if D Shaw gets injured on a weekend and we've got a Champions League game on the Wednesday we need cover there or even if we sign someone better than Fabian Shaw we've got Fabian Shaw to come in which I'm fine with absolutely fine with and and Botman fine he's been absolutely sensational since joining the club he loves it here but Dan Burn in his cover I think two centre backs is pushing it but ideally two centre backs yes I would would want in the ideal world but to be fair I don't even know if we'll get one but we'll have to get we we'll have to wait and see if the players got the door and whatnot. But I'm quite okay with the centre backs, but we do definitely need one more in my opinion, one hundred percent. A left back is critical. It's absolutely critical. You've got Dan Byrne, Target and Jamal Lewis. Um for me it's you've got to be getting a left back in. That is the next position we've got to look for. We've got the centre mid, we've got a winger, you've got to go for a left back. Yes, we've been linked with Livermento and he has he is a right back. We need to go for a, 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 a really good left back. Like, our two left backs there, we had one a couple of years ago who are better than both of them in Jetville Williams. Like, him and his primer, he would slot perfectly into that team. But Dan Byrne, on his day, yes, he is good. He, he is, right? He does get a lot of, a lot of stick. But, I'm telling you now, he is a good player on his day. Set about left back, wherever it may be, he does work hard, he does get stuck in, and, and that's what you ask for. Target is your back up. I think Target in the Premier League, we can we can work with. He will struggle um, against the bigger teams, but against the teams like who are getting promoted lower down on the table, I think you can you can work with that, definitely, but a left back is, is, is so crucial. It, it, it really, really is, and that's um, I'm, I'm, our main position. I think our midfield is very, very strong. Very strong. Would I like to say one more addition added in there? Yes. And 
for the sake of that is the sake of competition. I think if you add one more player there in the mix, it would give Eddie Howe an absolute headache because them six midfielders there all deservingly should start from the performances last season and then pre-season so far. But the best three are Tonali, Bruno Gomez and Joe Linton. Facts in it. Joe Linton, I like Joe Linton on the left. Me, I think Joe Linton works out on the left, but with signing Harvey Barnes and obviously Gordon getting a bit more game time hopefully this season. I could look, I could always see him being in the middle, but I like Joe Linton on, out on the left, but I think in the middle he's a bit more of a menace. So in the midfield, Sean Longstaff I think will be Tonali's um cover. You could say um I think he's had a, he had a re really, really good season last season. So on that doesn't really get spoken about enough by Newcastle fans, but I think Eddie Anderson will stay at the club this season rather than going out on loan. Um, I think he'll stay at the club and develop really, really well. I don't think he's quite there yet for a starter, but in pre-season he has been brilliant. Brilliant he has. Um, for Isaac's goal he was brilliant. His goal himself against Aston Villa he was really, really good. Um, got the assist for the Almiron goal against Rangers. He's had a really good pre-season, but we've got to keep going with him. We've got to, we've got to trust him, and the more game time he gets, the better he, he will he will become. One player I think is so harsh not getting him in there is Joe Willock. Yes, he's come back on a little bit of an injury at the minute, and I don't think he will start the season to, to ease him back in. But Joe Willock on his day, he is absolutely sensational, and that's why I think he needs a, a player like Willock who can do it all. He needs someone in there to, to give Eddie Howe a headache. Imagine uh, if Bruno's cover was was someone well, I can't even think of something yet. Someone who would uh, who would cook us up in that team and just and just perform like like it's ease. That's what you need. That, I think that's what you need. So from from that position. So ideally a centre back, one hundred percent left back, and I, I think I'll go then of ranked what of of what I think we need most and least. But I think a centre midfielder could be a really good headache for Newcastle United. And now the forwards. We'll start on the left side. A bit more positive. Um, what Newcastle fans could say. Harvey Barnes and Anthony Gordon, two very hard-working wingers who have got pace, score goals, they're, they're, they're going to want it this season. Obviously Harvey Barnes got relegated with Leicester, but got 13 goals for them. And it, it's a bit like, well, how can you sign a relegated player for that much money? Look at Genie Wijnaldum, he went to Liverpool after getting relegated with Newcastle and stunned the show. He really didn't. And whatnot. I think Harvey Barnes will do really well at Newcastle. I think it's a club that's suited for him. I think Eddie Howe. I think he suits Eddie Howe's system with the with the hard work and that we do and, and and getting stuck in. That's what Harvey Bond brings you. And especially Anthony Gordon, under twenty one European player of the tournament, absolutely buzzing for him. Um, at the start, a lot of fans like myself calling him shit, saying he wasn't good enough and whatnot. I think this will be a big season for him. He's still very young. We forget that and. We did buy him in for what was it forty odd million, but y you've got a player like that who who can he will give you every every bit, and I think having a pre season's massive for him as well. Obviously, signing in January on deadline day, he he can't really do much. When he's coming in with a pre season behind his back, he's gotten on the lads a bit more. He's been on holiday, he's had a bit of a rest. He will want this. He will absolutely want this, especially when that U was as well. I'm not saying he's got a massive name to himself, getting that under 21 um, player of the tournament, but we've seen over the years players like Juan Mata won it and, and look at the career he had. Gordon can do that. He's got the ability to it, to, to do it and, and hopefully he has a good season. On the right hand side, I think this is where we, we still need someone. Diaby would have been perfect, but he has signed for Aston Villa. Jago Murphy and Anne Warren. Jago Murphy's a good player on his day. And we love him a bit because he's funny as out and he does try his best, but will he do it in the Champions League next season? I'm not saying he can't or won't, but looking at the bigger picture when you've got like Vinicius Jr. and 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 so and Na Neymar and the list goes on. Jacob Murphy, it's like he's had a lot of championship loan spells and he did have a good season at Newcastle last season, don't get us wrong and when Jacob Murphy played, Newcastle won games, I'm not saying anything like that, I, I think he's a good squad player, 100% don't sell him but I think we need someone there and Almiron, very inconsistent, he does get a lot of stick from the fans still on Twitter, I, I see it all the time, people going I hope I'll not see 24 um, in the starting lineup and whatnot. Um, 
I don't think Almond should be starting for Newcastle United next season, so I think a right winger is is needed. I think so, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. And now, striker. We've only got two strikers at the club at the minute. Um, obviously, we let Chris Wood go to Nottingham Forest. Isaac and Callum Wilson, two very good strikers. Callum Wilson, 18 goals last season. Isaac got, I think it was 10. Really, really good season for them both. And I had mostly both scored already in pre-season. Um, do we need someone else there? We know Callum Wilson can, can get an injury in him. And, and Isaac had that big injury. Gordon played up front for a bit in the, in the under-21 tournament. Could we see him go up there? I don't see why not, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a funny one. It, I think getting a strike, I mean, would, like I said, the midfield situation, it'd give Eddie our headache. Having that headache as a manager is, 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 is a good thing, obviously, but you don't want to upset players. Callum Milton was quite happily sitting on the bench when Isaac was, was doing bits because we were winning football matches. It's as simple as that. If you have three top class strikers, knowing that Eddie Howe plays a 4 3 3, it, it, it's extremely hard keep them all happy with the game time and it was good that Callum Wilson came in during the week and um, it was against Everton and West Ham and got two goals against them both of four goals in two games when he started in that period it would be a headache but I think if we could got a striker it would be a very very good but yeah but you never know so then from top to bottom that is our team at the minute from what I think we need is a left back that is our next priority for Newcastle United a left back next I think is a right winger somebody can play on that right hand side I think we do need a right winger in that team and I think it is centre back I think you need someone there to cover and probably someone who can who can rotate with Shaw a lot and, and whatnot. I think Dan Byrne and Lascelles as backups for the Champions League and whatnot. And for the level we're going to you've got to improve on that then I think a mid, then a mid, no, then a, then a striker and then a midfielder. If we can pick up them five positions before the season starts, even before the transfer window ends, I'll be a very, very happy man. You kind of, you kind of sit here. If we make seven signings, you cannot sit there and go shit transfer window because people have said that so far for just signing Tonali, and obviously we've just signed Harvey, Harvey Bond, and I've not seen many comments like that. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the squad we've got at the minute. Yes, definitely we need some additions. That squad there is with no injuries when you, when you think of it. That squad, yes, it's good, but that's with no injuries. We need to be getting a couple more players throughout the door, and hopefully we can do that. That's the end of the video, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot if you could do so. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Who would you sign? And I'll see you all in the next one.